Hi, this is Ms. Techvine, and in this video we'll be going over rooting the LG Optimus slider. You're going to need a USB data cable, a PC, access to the internet, and of course your LG Optimus slider. Before we begin, you're going to have to go into Settings, Applications, make sure the Unknown Sources is checked, go into Development, make sure that USB debugging is checked, you can get the drivers from the LG mobile phone support. You select Optimus V and then do the LG Virgin Mobile USB driver update. Select your carrier and select then you'll see the phone for the slider which is the 701. Once you have the drivers installed you're going to go over to this website for the LG Esteem one click root and you're going to download the LG Esteem root zip connect your phone you'll see your drivers recognizing my cord doesn't reach to hold it up in front of the screen there's nothing that you need to touch on your phone just plug it in there, okay, so that's ready. The file that you open is the run.bat. So you read through here. Ensure the USB debugging is enabled, that's done. You have the latest LG drivers installed, that's done. Connected via USB, that's done. Press enter to root your phone. So I'm going to press the enter key. So then my phone will be rebooting. You heard the Virgin Mobile sound. Okay, root is complete. Press any key to exit. Let's go ahead and test to see if the root is done. Rooting is successful. You'll see that Super User is installed. You can go on the Android market and update your Super User because Gingerbreak didn't install with this rooting process there is no way to unroot and you say why would you unroot well if you needed to send your phone back for a replacement you want to take this off so you can get Gingerbreak 1.2 put it on your SD card you can download it direct or download it from your PC and drag it straight onto your SD card with a file manager, the ES file manager. I'm going to go ahead and install Gingerbreak. Let's go ahead and open it. And then I'll immediately ha have the ability to unroot the device. So let's go ahead and test out the ability to actually unroot the device. I've already checked that the device was rooted. So let's go ahead and do the unroot. Alright, so let's check and see. We still have super user on here. 
but that's not hard to take off. So let's go ahead and check the gut root. Check with gut root. Okay, so it has located the busy box, yes, because that's still there, but it has not located the binary and the root privileges, so it is not rooted. So I'm going to go ahead and take the super user off. So I went ahead and reset the phone. After unrooting, you saw that super user was still there, so I went ahead and reset the phone. I did a hard reset. Please see the other video of how to do a hard reset. And after doing that, super user is not on the phone and the phone is unrooted. The reason for unrooting and removing super user is if you're going to return the phone or if you're going to get a warranty exchange